Hey, it's Pat from PJM Scheduling Services. So in the previous video, we talked about uh, how to update your schedule and compare it back to a previous version of the schedule. So today I wanted to show you uh, an easy way of seeing all the changes that have taken place between two schedule files. Um, so you might, you know, in, in our case, we have our update, our current update open, and the yellow bars reference the original baseline that we're comparing back to. So I can see here things like, uh, you know, the yellow bars used to be in sequence, and now there's, they're running concurrently. And you, you're wondering, hey, what, what happened between the two schedule files? There must have been a relationship change, but I don't quite know what it is without opening up the, the other schedule file. So um, I wanted to show you an easy and free way of being able to compare the two files. So if you go to jobsessions.com, Full disclosure, we partner with Job Sessions uh, to produce scheduling tools. But uh, so they have this comparison tool where you upload your previous schedule file. So in this case, I'm uploading my baseline and then I'm gonna choose my update file and I'm gonna compare those two reports together. Um, so it'll just take a second to run the comparison. And so now it is done and we have our download of the PDF version of the report, which is free, or you can do the Excel version of the report. So I'll show you, I'll show you both. Um, perfect. So let's look at the PDF version of the report. Um, so here is a, the table of contents for everything that got compared. So we can see added activities, deleted activities. Um, so if you just click on a section of the report, it'll jump to that section. So we see here, here's all the milestones in the report, previous milestone date, current variance, um, and whether it's, it was a positive or a negative variance. We can click back to our table of contents. We can go to added activities. Here's the added activities and information about that. Um, so I, it's really, it's such a great report, really easy to navigate and shows you all of the changes that have occurred between uh, your two schedule files. I like the Excel version of the report. It is a paid for version. It's $10 a month, but um, there's a little bit more information in here and it's just easier, I guess, if you have a lot of data to be able to filter through the data. So um, for instance, like in, in regards to this specific relationship, what I could do is copy the activity ID, knowing that something took place in there. And then I could go over to my relationships. Here is uh, added relationships. So I can, I can just control and do a fil filter for that specific activity. And I can see here, all right, this predecessor, which is our activity, was tied to this activity as a successor. So that was one thing that happened. Um, I can go to deleted relationships and I can search for the same activity. And I can see, okay, it's not under that section, but if I go to modified, search for the same thing, I find here that the relationship between earthwork and foundations was previously a finish to start with zero days, and now it's a start to start with five days of lag. So really nice, easy way to be able to figure out all the changes that took place on your schedule files. If I go to the table of contents as well, there's some quality checks that are included in the, um, in the Excel version. Uh, some of them are included in the free version as well. But uh, yeah, fit relationships with finish to start and positive lags, um, you know, activities with no successor relationship. So there's a few of those items. I can go back to the table of contents. No predecessors, looks like we're clean there. So anyhow, just wanna share it with you. It's a nice free way um, to be able to look at the changes between your schedule files and dive a little deeper. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them in the comments below. All right, see you later. Bye.